Драги гледачи, следуваат снимки од репортажата посветена на банкетот на Канадскиот етнокултурен совет и Канадското здружение на етнички новинари, а по повод 150-тиот роденден на Канада. Представникот на Македонската заедница во Канадскиот етнокултурен совет е Луис Екуловски, кој за неколку години беше негов председател. А подпредседателот на Канадското здружение на етнички новинари е нашиот продуцент на програмата «Част на македонски корени» Васил Јанков. gentlemen, welcome, bienvenue, kalos orisate for the Greeks out there, dobre doide for the Macedonians, vita mi vas, Polish, benvindos, dobro pojalovac, dobrados for the Serbians, bienvenidos, vitaemo, Benvenuti for the Italians. Okay, bear with me. I've got another 67 of these left. I'm kidding. Welcome to Together in Canada, Ensemble Canada, being hosted by the Canadian Ethnocultural Council, CEC, in collaboration with the Canadian Ethnic Media Association, CIMA. My name is Raul Janeja, and I'm extremely delighted and honored to participate in this very special evening in which we celebrate not only our rich diversity and multiculturalism, but also recognize Canada's 150th anniversary, Multiculturalism Day, and recognize four special outstanding individuals for their contributions to multiculturalism. We'd like to congratulate the Board of Directors of the CEC and CIMA and the Gallic Committee on their hard work in organizing this historic event tonight. And now let us please welcome our very own rising Canadian star whose career as a singer began at the age of three, who's been captivating audiences ever since, Brooke Pastuk, who will lead us in the singing of the Canadian National Anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true It is my pleasure and an honor to stand in front of you all and celebrate the 150 years of Canada. It is such a beautiful country with all sorts of community spirits from all over the world. First, I would like to thank my co-chair, Honorable Iacobucci, for his kind words, and Dominic Campione, as you all know. Of course, all of you, Without your participation, this would not be possible. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This celebration is good. It brings me back 58 years ago when my father immigrated in Canada. The story I am about to tell 
about my father applies probably to all of you, whether your parents or your grandparents. 50 years ago, my family consisted of five kids, of course, and two parents. Back in those days, to find a rental apartment or a house near was impossible. My dad, through his sweat and tears, managed to buy a house where we all lived in. Today is different. Government provides all of that, plus, plus. What was given to your parents, what was not given to your parents or grandparents, the government today provides. I hope Canada and future Canadian will be able to celebrate 150 years again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for your participation. God bless you all. Welcome everyone to this auspicious occasion of celebrating Canada 150 and paying tribute to multiculturalism. That's right, Madeline. I'm, I'm so honored to be here with you tonight as co-chair and uh, certainly welcoming everyone here. I think it was a few years ago where we celebrated, we were here together on the podium, on the stage, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Canadian Ethnocultural Council. So we're delighted to be your co-chairs for this evening and to be able to salute each and every one of you who have contributed to the development of Canada as a caring, caring, accessible and dynamic country. And Madeline, I'm, I'm one of those few broadcasters that can't put two words together, so I actually have prepared... Oh, you need prepared a script? Remarks. I need a script. Ah. <laughs> Even though, Madeline and I go back many, many years, your history through Rogers and Omni Television, I still need a script and you don't. So I gotta learn a few things from you. <laughs> but tonight, I'm certainly honored to be here with my co-chair, uh, Madeline Zinniak, to celebrate jointly the CEC and uh, Chima Awards together in Canada Ensemble of Canada. These two wonderful organizations that support, encourage, and elevate multiculturalism in Canada. Tonight we honor four outstanding members of our community who have made a significant contribution to multiculturalism in Canada. As a broadcaster and a member of CHIMA, CHIN Radio celebrates 51 years of multicultural radio and TV broadcasting. Our commitment to ethnic broadcasting has been unwavering. We believe that the strength of our community is rooted in our recognition of and respect and encouragement of our cultural diversity. Multiculturalism is at the foundation of Canadian culture and today, more than ever, Canada shines bright on the global stage as a country that sets a positive standard for acceptance, inclusion, and understanding of all peoples, regardless of race, color, or religion. The Canadian Ethnic Media Association is honored to be a partner with the Canadian Ethnocultural Council in this event. And we hope to do this event in many, many, many years. It's so important to recognize all of us and those who have had the long journey of being able to develop and promote multiculturalism, diversity in this country. But also, I must make a note that we have to also salute and applaud our indigenous peoples who are so welcoming to immigrants in Canada. Because without them, we would not be here. Anine Bojo, everybody. Sego, Tanse, Kwekwe, Wache, Bonjour. My name is Kim Wheatley, that's my tax name, but I'm truly Shkudenigan uh, Wawaskonen. I come from Shawanaga First Nations. I am Mashikin and Dodem, and I come from the great Ojibwe nation known as the Anishinaabe people. I've been asked to give greetings and acknowledgement for our Indigenous people in this country. We have three titles, First Nations, Métis, and Inuit. We are still here, and we're quite a bit older than 150 years. We've been here for thousands of years. And the treaty territory that you are in is called the Williams Treaty Territories. It belongs to the great Anishinaabe Nation.
Howard Stellick inviting you to watch the Macedonian Heritage Hour right here on Omni Television. Tonight I join with all of you in celebrating the 150th anniversary, as I say, of the best country in the world. No question about it. In 1980, we founded the Canadian Ethnocultural Council and looking today at this magnificent gala with many prominent participants, I can say we created a small UN here in Canada. I want to invite you to toast in honor of the two organizations and the, the two presidents. To them, we can say cheers, salute, and nazdrovia. On behalf of the Canadian Ethnic Media Associations, Board of Directors and Members, indeed, it is also my pleasure this evening to welcome you to the greatest event in 2017, together in Canada, Ensemble in Canada Gala. Tonight, not only we celebrate 150th birthday of the greatest country in the world, we also celebrate diversity and multiculturalism that are the most important pillars in that Canadian identity that we all share and we all are so proud of. Happy Indigenous Day and happy Canada 150. Thank you and enjoy the evening. Welcome, bienvenue to Together on Canada, Ensemble au Canada. A dinner gala and award event, a proud collaboration of the CEC and CIMA, in which together we celebrate the diversity and multiculturalism in Canada, as well as witness the launch of the CEC Award for Multiculturalism bestowed upon four outstanding Canadians. I thank the honorary and gala co-chair, the gala committee, all our great sponsors, volunteers, a special thanks to my event coordinator, Adriana Savo, who has burned some midnight oil with me, along with Jermal Jestwick, who you have met. The Riviera Event and Convention Center, and especially all of you for making this one-of-a-kind event a reality. We say in Italian, viva our multiculturalism, Viva Canada, Viva the CEC and CIMA. Thank you, merci. It's great to join all of you here today and I want to thank the Canadian Ethnocultural Council as well as the Canadian Ethnic Media Association for this opportunity to join you here today. I also bring greetings from the Prime Minister and as Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, it really pleases me to look at, across this room and see two unique things. One people who celebrate and bring their heritage to Canada, but at the same time who are very proud to be Canadian. It's a real privilege to be celebrating with you the multiculturalism and diversity that Canada has to offer. I, I just want to say uh, our mayor, Maurizio Bevilacqua, mayor of Vaughan, is very fond of saying that we speak 99 different languages in Vaughan. And I have to say when I was on council, and now as an MP, we are incredibly proud of the hard work that is done by all of our cultural communities to share that diversity. That work that you do is so important to helping us to build an incredibly strong Canada because that sharing of cultures and traditions brings understanding. And with that understanding, we can, we can come together and build the Canada that we, we are so proud of and continue, we need to continue to make it strong. I think that the theme is especially important this evening. Uh, the theme that we are celebrating um, together in Canada, Ensemble O Canada, because we want to be together. We are communities. We, we've heard from many speeches this evening that many of us have come from different parts of the world, but we're here in Canada together, and we keep Canada together. That's our role. I s Thank you. These next four individuals who will be honored tonight are very important. 
they have in some special way significantly contributed <laughs> to the enrichment and advancement of multiculturalism. The first one being who I, who I and many others and this country has called the father of multiculturalism, the late Paul, Senator Paul Yusick. The second recipient is beyond any doubt a starlight of multiculturalism. I, all, I sometimes refer to her as a statute of liberty, Madeleine Zaniak. The third, if humbleness, sincerity, honesty, is exemplified is in the man of Dr. Joseph Wong. The fourth recipient is Stefan Luchkiu, who is the national president of the uh, Youth Federation, Ukrainian National Youth Federation, who is an arch person and model that we can be inspired upon. To the father of multiculturalism, Senator Paul Yusik, for the initiation, inspiration, dedication, commitment, and significant role in the development and enrichment of multiculturalism in Canada. We congratulate you. I'm very honored to introduce our next recipient for the 2017 CEC Award for Multiculturalism. Uh, this next recipient, I have to say, has been uh, a mentor and an inspiration of mine for at least 20 years, and someone who I also owe a great debt of gratitude for for my career, Madeline Ziniak. Madeline is a senior broadcast executive and diversity champion. Recognized for influencing both public and private sector as a, a multilingual media advocate, she has been involved in ethnic media for over 35 years and was most recently National Vice President of Rogers Omni Television. Madeline is the current chair of the Canadian Ethnic Media Association. For her dedication throughout her career, Madeline has received the Order of Canada, the Order of Ontario, the Queen Elizabeth II Golden and Diamond Jubilee Medals, as well as numerous community, government and industry related honours. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ms. Madeline Ziniak to accept the CEC Award for Multiculturalism accompanied by CEC President Dominic Campione and the Honourable Laura Albanese. Our next recipient is Dr. Joseph Wong. He has an incredible and inspiring story. He is a modest and a humble man with enormous love for community, righteousness, and equality. He has raised funds for refugees, medical research, social services, and geriatric care facilities in Canada. He founded the Yihong Center for Geriatric Care. And for his dedication and contribution to the community, Dr. Wong has received many honors, including the Order of Canada. Our next recipient for the 2017 Youth CC Award for Multiculturalism is Stephen Lukchu. <laughs> Stefan, only 22 years of age, is a second generation Ukrainian Canadian who, instilled with a strong sense of his Ukrainian Canadian identity, has welcomed the opportunity and reached out to other ethno cultural communities through his leadership of the Zabava Dance Lessons. The Canadian Ethnic Media Association is very proud to partner with the Canadian Ethnic Cultural Council in celebrating Canada 150. 
and also being able to celebrate multiculturalism in this country. Um, I'm also very honored to be one of the award recipients for multiculturalism, so indeed it is a great night for all of us. We can only accomplish things if we work together. We have a beautiful uh, relationship with the Canadian Ethnic Media Association, we call them SEMA, and the Canadian Ethnic Cultural Council, that it's a marvel to see. And uh, the, the fruits of that is this event tonight, together in Canada. It just, it's all in that name, Ensemble au Canada. Tonight uh, we are partnering with the Canadian Ethnocultural Council for first time, celebrating the 150th of Canada, and also uh, basically celebrate multiculturalism and diversity in Canada, which is a great event, and as I always call it, the event of the 2017. My dad started with very humble beginnings, and I think if he were here today, he would be filled with such pride uh, and joy um, at the notion that what what he conceived and dreamed about on in his little office above his supermarket on College and Grace in the heart of Little Italy back in the 60s would blossom into something that would be embraced by all Canadians from, from coast to coast.
And here, my darling, here we are In heaven tonight, feeling right Whoa. 